They say my partners, the old boys. I just be looking back like, young know, niggas, the world is yours. Let a plug through the, like, the On that jigger shit, been rocking time four. Uh huh. What's going on? Now, many men think women are complex, too hard to figure out. They think they cheat better than men, etc. Well, that's because you don't have the game to dissect what you see. Or maybe you do, but you deny it. It feels better to deny the truth. When you're the only guy, a woman basically makes you the center of her universe. When you're the only guy, a woman basically makes you the center of her universe. When you're the only guy, a woman basically makes you the center of her universe. When you are the only guy, a woman basically makes you the center of her universe. You got that part? Hope so. Now, with that being said, the center of her universe is basically a priority. Somebody that you, she damn near blowing up your phone, basically, right? Does that mean if a woman's blowing up your phone that she's not cheating or whatever? No, not necessarily. She could be blowing up your phone because she thinks you cheating because she cheating, you know? I'm going to tell you like this. If you're in a relationship, she's going to bitch and, bitch and nag if she's cheating. Or maybe not nag. Let's just say bitch because... She might nag because she wants your attention, so we're not gonna say nag, but we will say bitch. If she's thinking of replacing you or she's not happy or there's another guy, same thing. It's all the same thing. Replacing you, still another guy, basically. She's still looking. Uh, not happy, same thing, because eventually she's gonna start looking. You know what I mean? And then you got the ones that are actually dealing with other guys. So there's three levels to that. There's the, she's about to start looking. There's the, she is looking. And then there's the, she is dealing with somebody. Level, three levels. And all that can be dissected by one thing and one thing only, bitching. If you see bitching, nagging is different than bitching. Bitching is always complaining about shit. Or always saying, basically making you feel like you're not good enough, shit like that. Nagging is spend time with me, uh, basically. You know what I mean? Basically, that's what nagging is. There's really no other way around it. Everything else is pretty much bitch for the most part. So if she's bitching, more than likely she dealing with somebody else or she's out the door or, or should I say about to be out the door now some of y'all are going to ask what about them guys in her inbox again those guys in her inbox don't matter if she really fuck with you they only matter if she really not fuck with you. That's relationship or dating. So when, when, here's the thing. When she really like you, she make time for you. Members of the center of her universe. So a lot of y'all are gonna ask, but well, what about the guys in her inbox? You know, uh, why would she make me the center of her universe if she got guys in her inbox? Well, that's because she really like you or the other way she won't do it because she really don't so she can't give 100% energy to the guy she like and deal with other guys too right so if you're not getting 100% center of her universe energy 
she's dealing with other people. You're not the only one. It's impossible. Impossible. You also got to remember some of these women don't even want one man. Just like some men don't want one woman. Some of these women don't want one man. Some of these women don't want love. That's why it's important for you to understand the energy of a woman who only is dealing with you. Because if you don't, you're not going to catch when she's dealing with other people. And that's whether you're dating or whether whether that's whether you're dating or in a relationship. It's the same thing. A lot of y'all try to separate this shit and act like it doesn't apply once you're in a relationship. It still applies. The same way a woman moves still applies if you're in a relationship or not. The bitching, the uh, the, the, the the space, all that, all that's the same shit. The only difference is you got a title, relationship, or you don't have a title with the woman. It's the same thing. Stop treating it like it's different because it's not. She don't dress up around you when you when y'all go out to, on a date, but she when you whenever you see her on Facebook, she dressed up like a motherfucker out and partying. Same thing. It doesn't matter if that's your girlfriend or not. Same sign, same shit. When she's only talking to you, you're going to know. Because the energy and the effort is going to be there. However, when she's talking to other guys, you're going to know. Because the energy and the effort of center of my universe will not be there. And it's not there because she got to distribute this energy out to different people. But here's the thing, though. There's one guy that she likes a lot. Out of all y'all lottery picks, there's one guy she likes a lot. So if you don't really fit, and guess what? See, this is what happens. Y'all say, well, how does she, how can she make one guy the center of her universe if she's talking to multiple guys? I'm glad you asked. And here's why. Because the guy that she really likes out of all y'all other lottery picks, He's getting that center of a center of attention universe energy. The rest of y'all are getting that 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 other energy that I've been telling you about. That that um, I don't, I don't want to say ghost, but that that space, that that lack of effort, basically, the lack of effort. The only only one guy is getting that that center of attention uh, energy. Now whether that guy liked that girl or not, I don't know. I can't answer that. Right? If, if that guy liked that girl, then she wouldn't be t dealing with none of y'all. Matter of fact, I can't answer that. If that guy that she really liked out of all of y'all liked her back like that, she wouldn't deal with none of y'all. But she's only dealing with y'all because that guy she really liked don't, ain't really trying to fuck with her like that. Mm. Or they're not officially like that. You know what I mean? Maybe he is trying to fuck with her like that, but they not officially like that, so she don't see it. Therefore, she's going to keep that door open for attention and, and money and all these other things she can get from other men. It's not rocket science. Y'all men act like y'all don't know when a woman like you or not. It's not rocket science. And it does not matter. And again, you're going to ask, well, what about the guys in her inbox? She might like me, but how? she might like him and him and him. No, she won't. If she really like you, she's not going to like another guy like that. She can't. If she really like you, we're not talking about someone like you. Someone like you, she's going to talk to multiple guys. She's not going to stop with you. She's not going to make you the only guy. That's rare when a woman make you the only guy and she really don't like you like that. It just doesn't happen much. The only way it might happen is if that woman really don't have options like that. Right? And then now she's settling for you. Because she really, and it might not be settling in reality, but in her eyes it's settling because you're not exactly what she wants. So that's, it's the same thing. Even if you are the better guy out of all the guys she can talk to, and, but she don't think that, if she don't feel that, she's still settling. You have to, this is what y'all men don't get. All these magic tricks you're doing, trying to get a woman to like you, is it, it's irrelevant. 
it's a waste of time because ultimately it has to be the woman that really like you like that dog or you better all that shit all that money and all this stuff you're doing to get a woman to like you that don't really like you it, you're losing in the end because eventually let's just say she's fucking with you but she really don't like you right the only reason why she's fucking with you remember she really don't like you like she don't like you the best she might like you but she don't like you the best Remember, she's only fucked with you because you're number pick three, you're number two, three, four, five, whatever, right? But in the end, you're going to lose because it's going to go back to what I said earlier. What's the, what's the levels that I said to her dealing with another guy? The first level, thinking about it. If you're number two, she's always going to be thinking about number one, whoever that is in her mind. And it could be a celebrity crush, whatever. That's what she really wants, right? So if you're number two, that's always going to be in her mind. You're never going to be enough. You might be good enough to for now, but she still wants that number one. Okay, a Chevy, a Chevy is cool, but I really want the Cadillac. So I'm still going to think about Cadillacs. Every time I see Cadillacs, I'm damn, look, there's another Cadillac. That's what's going to happen, right? That or number two, she's actually talking to other guys and about and trying to replace you. Or number three, she has replaced you. But just remember, y'all, that um, only deal with women who, who find you number one, man. It's not your fault if she don't see you number one. That's a, that's her problem. All you need to do is to focus on success and keep winning because the more you succeed and separate yourself from the other pack the better woman you're going to get because you're going to be on a higher level and she see this is the thing when you get on this higher level you can only certain men have access to certain type of women on higher levels and you're in the club yeah there's competition there but you're in the club you know what i mean so therefore, women are only going to deal with men like you. Let's we'll say that again. Okay, they don't want to fuck with you right now. You catching a bus. Oh, well. Get your shit together. Be a boxer. Do something. Blow up. Now, only the women, you can get the women to only deal with men on your level. It's actually better this way. So don't get mad because she talking to other guys and all this and all that. A, a lot of y'all going to wonder, well, how do you know she talking to other guys? I'm going to say it again. I'm going to keep saying it. Because you'll, you will get that center of attention energy. The only way a woman can like you the most, right, out of all the guys, and, and not do that is because she feels that you don't like her. But she's still going to try to make it known first before she realized, okay, he don't like me. That's the only way a woman likes you better than all guys and doesn't give you that center of attention uh, type of energy. Is if she she's scared that you don't like her. So she's like, ah, fuck it, I ain't gonna do it. But if you are a guy that's making it known, because most of y'all guys go after women, so you're making it known, I'm interested, right? You should see this center of attention energy. If you don't see it, it's because she's dealing with other people. She don't have, there's not enough energy to deal with you, 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 and you. The only way she could deal with multiple men, giving this person this energy out to multiple men, is by giving you little bits. Here's a little for you, here's a little for you, here's a little for you. And here's the most for this guy. And remember, you would be irrelevant if that guy that she really liked, that she's giving all that attention to, was giving it back to her, you'd be irrelevant. You're only relevant because that number one guy ain't trying to fuck with him. That's the only reason why y'all are relevant. Unless she's a player, right? And if she's a player, then you're going to get some far energy. You're going to know that she's talking to multiple guys. Because when a woman only is dealing with one guy, no other guy exists, basically. None. None of y'all. You don't exist. You 
think I'm lying? Wait till one of your so-called female friends get a boyfriend. Watch what happens. Watch what happens to you. You will be, you, she, you won't even exist. It could be somebody you work with. Like say you work with somebody and she speaks when she's single. The moment she get a boy, let's say her boyfriend starts working where y'all work at. She won't even look at you, dog. She won't even speak to you. But this is supposed to be your friend. And this is why I say it's it's almost impossible to believe that women and men can actually be friends. Because for the fact that the woman really don't even fuck with you once you get a boyfriend, that's not a real friend. Like somebody I can, you was there to, uh, I was there when you needed somebody, you didn't have a boyfriend, but now that you got a boyfriend, you don't even want to speak to me. How's that a friend? That's not a friend. You understand what I'm saying? That's not a real friend. You can't call that girl and be like, hey, uh, I need uh, help with this or that. Nah, because the boyfriend going to think that y'all fucking around and she not going to do it anyway. So she not going to do it for the sake of the boyfriend. This is why on Facebook, once they get a boyfriend, they don't know who y'all are or they just completely disappear. And then they come back when they get a new boyfriend, snapping a picture and shit. Look at what I got, basically. This is what they do. Anyways, man, it's not easy. It's not hard to tell if you're the only guy or not. You're going to know. It's evident. It's in your face. You cannot mistake it if you're the only guy. And that goes for relationships, too. Because a lot of y'all are in relationships and you're not the only guy. It goes back to the situation that I said. She don't really want you. She really wants another guy. Or she's actually talking to other guys. Or she's actually dealing with other guys. And guess what, y'all? You say, well, how does she hide this? Why don't I catch the signs? If I'm in a relationship... How come I don't catch the signs that she's talking to other guys? Because you're not, you're, you're, your standards have dropped. You, you need to go back to the blueprint of the beginning. How was she treating you in the beginning? Remember how she was treating you in the beginning? Like you was a king, dog. You was the best ever. You know, sex and whatever, all that, right? And then what happened? Started changing. You know why it's happened? You know why that change started happening? Because... Number one, she really don't want you no more, never really did. Number two, she's trying to replace you, but hasn't replaced you yet. Number three, she has replaced you, but she's, you're, you're still, she hasn't found a way to drop you. I got your replacement, I just haven't found a way to drop you, nigga. So I'm going to bitch every day, you ain't getting no pussy, none of that. I'm in this house, I'm going to use you for your benefits, and a lot of them do that because they feel like, well, he owes me something because I gave him my body and stuff for years and even though I don't want him no more and I'm fucking this other guy, I'm going to get something out of him and tell this other guy uh, until it's good with this other guy over here. So they feel you owe them something. They feel they still own you. That's why she's still dealing with you um, and then drop you, fam. You think, oh, my dick's good. That's why she's coming back. Man, these women will come back, give you head and sex, plotting the whole time. And, and faking the orgasm or, or thinking about the other guy that they really want or the other guy they really fucking, man. Come on, man. This game is deep and y'all not getting it. This is why it's so important to get with a woman who thinks you're number one. If you're not number one, there's no deal. The only thing we really can do is just kick it in and fuck. If I'm not number one, what can you do for me? Nothing. You can't do the same shit that a woman that thinks I'm number one can do for me. Only thing you're going to do is deal with other men because I'm not the one you really fucking want. You see what I'm saying? So basically, you're settling. And if you're settling, I'm settling. Because if you're settling, I'm not going to get what I really deserve out of a woman who thinks I'm number one. Therefore, it's settling. Period, man. She has to think you're number one, and that's the and that's the ball kick that most men can't handle. That is the ball kick that most men cannot handle. 
that she doesn't think you're number one. So you try to make her think you you can't make that woman think. You can't negotiate the number one spot. You can lose it, but you can't really negotiate being put in it. it it's just natural. It has to be a natural thing that a person thinks you're number one. Period. Point blank, man. And when it comes to women, that you this is important. There's too many men in their face, man. There's way too many men in their face. As a man, we don't have women in our face every damn day. Well, I mean, maybe a little bit. I mean, well, some of us kind of, yeah. But not, not, not like a woman. I mean, damn, 20 men in her face every day. I might have one woman in my face every day, maybe. But not like a woman. She everywhere she go. So, if you're not number one, what do you think going to happen, bro? <laughs> what do you think going to happen? One of those three things. Either she's going to not really want you no more or never really did and just set up for you, basically. Or she's talking to other guys trying to replace you. Or she's already play, replaced you. You're just there still paying bills and shit until she finds a way to get away from you. But a lot of y'all, uh, if you're in a relationship or single, all you got to do is look at her... Um, it does she make it does she give you center of her universe energy vibes if she does then you're number one if she don't the only way like i said only way a woman can uh, feel this way about you but not give you that center of attention energy vibe is because she thinks that you don't like her but we're talking about men who are actually trying to like women right you're actually going out trying to like the woman that you like and shit. You should see that back. If you don't see it back, don't deal with it. That you're not the one she likes. You're going to get. You're going to get. Um, like I said, she can only distrib distribute so much energy. So if, if there's only one guy she really like, the rest are just whatever. So she got to give them crumbs because she she saves all that energy for the guy she really likes. Whether he likes her back or not, that's irrelevant. But I guarantee you this. This guy knows that she likes her. I guarantee you that. So all y'all men who question, I don't know, man. Does she really like me, man? All this rocket science. I got to go in a cave for five months and shit. That's, that's, there's no reason. Because if you got a question, if the woman like you, she don't. Or she just likes you as one of those other guys. Which means you're going to get crumbs. Which means you're settling. Because she feels she's settling. It doesn't, you could be the best one. Even though you could be better than the guy that she really likes out of all guys. Guess what, fam? If she feels like she's settling, you're going to be settling because you're going to get the crumbs. You're going to get the, I don't really want to be with him, but I'm with him. Or I'm trying to replace him. Or I have replaced him, but I'm still with him. One of those three things. That's what you're going to get. And if it's the dating scene, <laughs> that's even worse because you're just going to get crumbs. And you might not get no sex, no nothing. She might just use you for shit. Female players, though, they're, they're... Now, I don't know if a female player actually has one guy that she really likes a lot. I'm kind of on the fence of, I don't think she does. I don't think female players have one guy they really like a lot. They might have one guy they like the most, but I don't think they... Well, that's technically the same thing. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I don't think a female player has a guy that she would drop all guys for. She might have one that she likes the most, and he might get the most treatment, best treatment out of all the others who get in crumbs. But she's really not trying to commit to that guy. She's a player. She still wants multiple men. Versus a girl that does want one guy, but she's still giving crumbs to other men difference is she will deal with that one guy and drop these other men if that one guy would act right that's the difference i don't think a female player would do that and if she does nah i don't see it she's a player she's not gonna do it she might do it temporary for a little bit then she gonna be back on her shit but i still don't see it i don't think female players close off these other guys i think they just keep them there you know that's how they move they use guys for what they can get they're not looking for love they're looking for benefits that's why they're a female player you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's simple, man. It's so simple. To tell if she's dealing with talking to other men or not. And, and most of them are. You know? But 
it doesn't matter if she's talking to other men if you're the one that she really likes because you're going to get that center of attention um, energy. So it's on you if you want to deal with the woman or not. You know, but all your other guys who got questions about if a woman like you or not, that's because you're not that number one guy. You're the second, third, fourth, fifth, hundredth choice. You're getting the crumbs. She doesn't have enough energy to give to you, the guy. She, the, she doesn't have enough energy to give to the guy she really like and then give it to another guy she really don't like. That's not how that works. That's not how that works. If you're not the guy she really like, you're not getting that energy, dog. You're not getting that cooperation. So if you don't see it, you got your answer. Keep the fuck moving on. You know what I'm saying? That's what you do. There's no other option. Unless you just want to just kick it with her and, and, and fuck. But if you're trying to get with the woman, nah, don't do it. Once you see that a woman really don't like you, number one, you've got a friend zone her ass. How about that? Friends on her. Now she's in a, we can, we can kick it or just have sex type of shit. And I don't really even agree with that. But I'm just saying, if, if, if you like a girl but she don't really like you like that, that's the only other option you got. <laughs> you can't make her your woman. You can't negotiate it. She's not going to change how she feels. You're always going to be number two, three, four, whatever. She already got her mind made up on who's number one. It's a certain type and all this other shit. And you just ain't it. Because if you was, you would know. Ain't no ain't no mistake in this shit. But if you must still deal with this chick, then, like I said, don't try to get with her. Like, you can't wife a hoe. And guess what? If she doesn't really like you, basically she is a hoe because, not because she might be really a hoe, but because she's going to deal with other guys. If she doesn't really like you, she basically is a hoe to, toward you because she's going to deal with other guys. The only way she's not going to deal with other guys is if she really like you, dog. That's the only way. There is no other way. She's always going to keep that door open because she really you're not what she really wants. Think about it. If somebody's not what you really want, what you gonna do? You gonna keep the door open, keep looking. That's exactly what she gonna do. You think she gonna stop looking? All these men in her face, you gonna stop and she really don't like you like that? Come on, man, does that make sense to you? No, it doesn't at all and they're not gonna do it. So just get over it, accept it for what the fuck it is so you don't hurt yourself. Cause a lot of y'all don't wanna accept that this, this is a burning pot. This dating shit, whatever you wanna call it, it's a burning pot. And a lot of y'all don't want to protect your hand when you, before you grab it. You just, or let, let's say you don't want to protect yourself before you go into it. You know, this is a uh, hazardous place. You don't want to wear the proper gear to go into it. You just want to go into the motherfucker um, and act like you're different. You're not different than anybody else. You go in it the wrong way. You go about the wrong way. You're going to get burned. I don't know. I don't know what else to tell y'all. Y'all have a good day, though.